Okay, in the world of pet photography, as we all know, not every dog stands perfectly still. So today I'm going to give you a great tip on how to improve your photography on pets. Whenever you have a dog that will not sit still or will not stand still, don't be afraid to keep the dog on a leash, especially when you're in wide open spaces. And of course, whenever you go to print your image or you want to finish your image, you don't want to have that ugly leash in the image. So today, what I'm going to talk about is we are going to talk about how to get that leash out of the image. And it basically goes just like this. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your Photoshop and of course open up your image. And as I always say, whenever you edit an image in any way, shape, or form, save it under something different. And a good rule of thumb is to go ahead and save it first as something different so that that way you uh, you don't lose your image and um, and that way if for whatever reason you make a mistake or you mess up you still have your original known as your digital negative okay so here's the image and I have a cute little black lab here that I took a photo of at a horse show and we want to get rid of this leash what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this tool right here this is my clone stamp tool and you'll notice you kinda sorta see a little cursor what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my brush size over here and I'm going to increase the size of my brush until I have it just where I want it. I'm going to decrease the hardness. There we go. Now for this particular image, my master diameter is set at 95 pixels and the hardness is set at 19%. But every image is a different size. So with this particular image, we're going to keep this size, but you just kind of want to play it by ear and, and see how it goes. I'm going to ignore that there and I'm going to click on the image. Now what you want to do is you want to hold your option key down and you'll notice that my cursor changed to like this little bullseye thing. I let go of my option key and it's a paintbrush. Hold the option key down over the area that you want to clone. So I'm going to hold my option key down over the grass in the back and I'm going to click my mouse once. Now it's going to go ahead and copy that area for me so that when I place my cursor over the leash, I click the mouse. And you see how it disappears? All I'm going to do is paint right along there. And whenever I want to uh, adjust a little bit, hold the option key, click again, and repaint. Option key, click, and repaint. And then we get up to the dog, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So what I recommend is I recommend you uh, zooming in quite a bit. And as you see here, you can zoom in by hitting your Apple plus sign if you have an Apple computer, or you can just zoom in a little bit there. So we are going to zoom in a lot so that that way we can get a good view of what's going on here. Now you notice that because we made the picture size bigger, our brush is now too large. So we're going to go to the brush size. I'm going to decrease the master diameter so it's just about right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to again option click on the black this time because that's where the uh, that's the part that I want to mimic. I'm going to click on the black and then I'm going to very carefully come over to the buckle and we're going to just start to erase that. Bring it all the way down. And don't forget that uh, in order to actually use the clone, option click, you want to click your mouse down and that's when it uh, that's when it duplicates. If you don't click the mouse down, then it won't. And just kind of use your judgment when you look at these images. Like for example, you notice that I could have taken out this little silver part here, but I didn't want to. Um, mainly because Oops, mainly because that is that is part of the collar. So you want to make it realistic. So here we have an image. Just use the option key. We take out the leash, and there it looks like a very beautiful shot. Nicely done, and we had no extra handling by the leash. It's always good to take off the leash if you can. And that's it. Good luck. I hope this helps you guys, and happy photography.